Hey, so a forum member asked about using like violet wands and other like electroplay items with implants. Uh, so this is this is a violet wand, uh, and this is a common attachment for it. It's like an evacuated tube, and uh, when you power it up, it's a very high voltage device. So I'll turn the light off to show you. But when you power it up, it's called a violet wand because the ionization creates like a ultraviolet light, and uh, if you, you know, it'll zap you. The, these type of attachments are not very intense. Uh, this is the max setting, actually, but I can handle it pretty well. Uh, but it's an interesting sensation, for sure. Um, and I've got a uh, connection to ground right here. So, like, uh, the reason that this uh, is attracted to me and not the air or, like, this silicone mat is because I'm a relatively, at high frequencies, I'm a relatively low impedance, which is, like, resistance. I'm a low impedance pathway to ground, because, like, my, my feet are touching the ground. Um, so to emulate that for this test, I've got this grounding strap, and uh, it can, you know, I can create a pathway there. So uh, I've got this Apex. It works. Ooh, my fingers are a little, a little numb from that. Uh, yeah, so it reads... Totally fine, let me orient it a little bit better. I don't know what I did to this poor thing. Well, it reads, regardless. Maybe my ACR 120 is freaking out. But yeah, I'm gonna put it in the, um, directly in the pathway, and you'll be able to see visually that it's, uh, it would be very difficult to get the power to flow through the device itself. It's actually, you can see it right here, see the purple on the edge? That's the skin effect, uh, where it's traveling along the outside, because there's there's oil and liquid on there for my hands. But it, like the polymer itself is very insulated. So it's very difficult for it to get traveled through the actual implant itself. Oh fuck, I can't do anything delicate like this. <laughs> All right, give me a break. All right, so I'll put it directly in the path. But you see how it parts around it? The biopolymer itself is very well insulated, but I'm putting it directly on the chip. So if there were ESD concerns from, you know, for the chip itself, like electrostatic discharge, uh, this would do it. You know what I mean? Like, this is the final install configuration with the biopolymer, and uh, that would do it. So uh, this is actually a unit that I used for some durability testing, so it's possible either my ACU is freaking out or the unit is damaged. But you can see from the fact that it it starts to do a read that this is still functioning. It didn't get damaged. But yeah, so that's that. Uh, I have one. I have a glass one, which is an even better insulator, but it's in my arm right here, my hand. You can see it like right here. Um, but yeah, so, let me, uh, expose that. Is it? There it is. It's kind of hard to do this on camera. Yeah, I can tell. That feels very odd in that location because the skin is so thin. It's extremely intense because the implant is there. Like, if I do it in another part of my hand, I don't get the same sensation. But, like, I have a lot of experience with this stuff. And, like, if you get it on your implant spot it has a different sensation. But regardless, let me get this shit out of the way. It reads. So you're not gonna be able to damage it with that. Um, I can even do, uh, here, let me turn it off. I can even do a, you got the implant, I dropped it. Put this, on the grounding. I can even do a more direct pathway. So this is through a um, vacuum chamber. So the intensity is much dramatically reduced. I'm not to be careful with this, but um, I have a much more intense source here, which is like a little whip thing. And uh, it's like basically direct 
line of, I, I don't know, they might be copper, they might be silver, but inside of these, or maybe even graphite, I'm not sure. But inside of these, there is metal or a conductive pathway. And when you touch them, it is exceedingly painful. Um, I'm going to have to hang it, actually, because I can't handle the ends while they're on. But, uh... So this will even go. You can hear it going to the silicon mat. You can see there's a much greater intensity. Let me turn it up a bit more. It's, it's kind of dangerous, honestly. Ow, fuck. I mean, like, I don't know how to do a better test than that. You know what I mean? Like, that's... That's it. That's the exposure level under the worst possible conditions. And it's... It's totally fine. So, that's where we're at.